Hello everyone, welcome to the video. I want to make a quick video. This is going to be going over my network setup. So my network setup, I started about maybe a year and a half ago building the ultimate network for me. And the whole point of this is I had an Asus router before. It was just one of those all-in-one Wi-Fi routers. And I kept having issues once I got my gigabit fiber where it could not keep up. And it was Asus's $400 router. So I started the project and the plan was to be able to ditch all of the online, you know, sharing services for files, movies, etc. Because when I would go to download maybe an ISL that I had on Google Drive, it would take forever because of the Google Drive restrictions. So that was the whole plan for this video or this network setup. So let's go ahead and get into it. My server rack is right through here. So let's go. So here's the server rack in all of its glory. So starting at the top, I just have a little monitor just so I, if I need to, I can plug in a cable to any of these servers and actually get direct access. Uh, starting at the top, by the way, these are all Dell servers. So starting at the top, I have the R520. This is my Unraid server. Then I have an R320. This one runs Windows Server, and it's basically just file share. I have a whole bunch of SSDs in this. Next one down is my R420. The R420 is one of the ESXi hosts that run, I think I have about 25 different virtual machines running. Uh, next one down is an R620. That is also an ESXi host. These are both running in a cluster. And then the next one down, that is my big boy, the R720. This one runs Plex and a few other different services. It's one of my favorite servers. It's got a Quadro P2000 in there. It's amazing. And then the next one down is a Dell MD1200. It's not currently set up yet. As you can tell, there's no blinking lights, but that will be set up in the future once I can get my hands on some more hard drives. Uh, next thing down, I got my HP printer and then a 1500 volt amp UPS. And I think hidden back here is another 1500 volt amp UPS. So I think that's enough of the front. Let's go ahead and show you the back. So I do always have it easily accessible. I'll go ahead and give you a pan all the way down. So starting at the top, I have the Unify UDM Pro. That is my router and it is amazing. Never have an issue with it. It's always running. It's flawless. Next thing down, I have my USW aggregation switch. This has eight 10 gigabit ports on it that connect all my servers. And then I have a USW24 PoE switch. Moving down, I have two Raspberry Pis with room to add more. I actually 3D printed out this rack mount. As you can see, it's a little Boeing, but it does the job for what I need. And then moving down just the back of all the servers. Now every server, except for my Unraid, is connected with fiber 10 gigabit. I have to replace this fiber port. It had broke, both of the whole card had broke. So I'll get a replacement soon for that. And then everything else is also set up with redundancy. And that's the purpose of this 24 port PoE switch and these couple of ports on the UDM Pro. So every single server has two ethernet cables connected to it. One of them goes to the US 24 port PoE and the other goes to the UDM Pro. So in the event that I might have the USW aggregation go down, or maybe the 10 gigabit port goes down, like on this one. 
everything still runs properly. It might not have the all the bandwidth that it had before, but it will still at least run where I can get access to it. And it can run still most of my services. They are also set up. Most of these with two power cables. And I have little power strips on the side. Each power strip is connected to one of the UPSs. And I can get about maybe 30 minutes total if the power goes out. Enough time to get a generator out there. And then as well, these all these switches, like the US24 port PoE, they are connected with fiber to both the USW aggregation and then I have the other cable actually going out to my garage where I have another switch that basically powers all my access points and other things like that. And then I do have another access point just here in the server rack that is connected to the 24 port switch. And that's really a just in case the garage switch goes down. I still will have at least one Wi-Fi access point running just for that redundancy factor. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys would like to hear more about these servers or what runs on each one, just go ahead and put a comment down below or hit that like button. Or if you have any questions, go ahead and put a comment below. Thanks everyone.